If this is a Mexican beer, it is a very good, good one. one. It's not a hoax. I am Jaime Musan, and this is the beer from my country. This is my fourth one. You drink this beer and you see many things, but only if you are in my country of Mexico and my great people, the Mexicans. <laughs> this south of your San Diego, this south of the border, it going on like this, like this was seen. But this was a very good iguana. <laughs> very expensive. It is not not a the hoax. No hoax. Even though it does not move like a a normal iguana. Oh shit. He he opened his eyes. He is not a hoax. That proves it right there. And why would anyone want to hoax a video of an iguana? I don't think so. This is a real iguana. It looks to be a very expensive one if it is not real. Looks like the parts m m would move if, if they could, probably. But this one doesn't seem to move. So you may think it is not a real iguana, but my, point, my people would not lie to you. My people sent this video to me and they say it was real. It was real. So it's not a hoax. Because my people, people in Mexico, Mexico, they don't lie. Especially not in Tijuana, where this was shot. Just north of your border, or south of your border. <laughs> Steve, wake up, Steve. You are not my friend. If you don't do a trick, do some tricks and show these people that you are not a, a an animated uh, an animated uh, prop or Hollywood hoax. Prove to these people that you are real. Say something. Kick that fucking corona. Get mad. Your people have been oppressed for thousands of years. <laughs> thousands of years. Back to the Aztecs. Way back when they grew pyramids in your honor. Yeah, you shook your tail at them then? Oh, fuck you, yeah, you know what? Okay, yeah, you know they're your people, you know? You know, the Aztec, they're your people, and they love you, and you better do some fucking tricks, that's good. Prove you're not a fucking wooden model, or a figment of my imagination. Because if you are, you're a very good one. Very expensive. Why not a fucked up name like Steve? Shouldn't it be like Enrique, or... Or, or Ricardo or something like that or I'm a stupid puto what what your name is Steve that's Americanized you are not proud of your people no no maybe you should go back to your homeland and see those people are oppressed they live in large forests they're not a they don't have a good like here in a glass cage where you have limited mobility they, they can go as free as they roam yeah, you chose to be here in behind this glass. What the fuck is wrong with you, Steve? You chose an American name. You don't even like Corona. Not even the air of your people. And you fucking just eat vegetable. You know? Ain't you never had a red meat before? No red meat? Do you like crickets? Do you like dragons? You look like a dragon. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you walking away from me? What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't like what I'm saying? You don't because I'm telling you the truth, Steve. I am telling you the truth, you fucking reptilian motherfucker. You know, yeah, you know it, yeah, yeah, I know. You would like to torture me in my sleep too, but you can't, motherfucker. Because you can't fit under the door because your fat ass eats too much lettuce. That's right, motherfucker. That's right, you got it, Steve. Now get back in, in your cage and quit plotting on us. And drink your fucking Corona extra. We pay good American money. And American money no good no more. American money being passed up by the Euro. And even coming coming to your hometown, your country of Mexico, they're going to make the Amero. You know? And the Amero is very good for Steve. Because Steve get a lot more beer, a lot more Corona, and a lot more freedom after he killed his owner. <laughs> you reptilian motherfucker.
Who do you choose to be, Steve? You play a f American puto with a fucking a, a white Christian name, or do you going to be a Mexican? A Mexican from your own home country, drink some fucking Mexican beer. Maybe Dos Equis or San Miguel. Maybe we should take you to San Miguel down the street. Maybe they will serve you in a case. They got a woman down there that sneezed on my Chinese food. She sneezed on my Chinese food and and then she said, Oh, sorry. So here, here, I'll give you free free soda. <laughs> yeah, fucking bitch, I was sick three days later. I think I got SARS. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know what, Steve? Oh, Steve, starting to cry. I can see his eyes are welling up. That's because I'm talking about his home home country of Mexico. I know you miss Mexico. You want to be called Stefano, not Steve, huh? You know, be more authentic to your your uh, Aztec history. You know, be more in touch with your peeps. You know, you know your peeps are a bunch of fucked up reptilian people. You know. Even your leader got called it on, you know. He, he done sold you out too, Steve. That's how you got here in America. Because <laughs> cause you, you lack discipline, Steve. <laughs> you lack discipline. See, you would never be in this mess if, if you thought like a reptilian. You've been coddled too much. You had people feed you cabbage in your cage. And you got too too used to it. Too used to the good life. What gonna happen? What gonna happen when 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 uh they come searching the houses and they set all the iguanas free? What you gonna do out there in that big world, Steve? Get a job? I don't think so. You don't even have the right coloring, Steve. <laughs> you get the bitch ass lizard like everybody else. <laughs> anyway, Steve, I, I I'm not capping, honey. I love you. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to make you realize, man, shit. You know, it comes to the end of the month, and you ain't got nothing on your table except a few turds. You know? You're a fucking, uh, your aquarium there, you're, you're a biosphere, whatever to call it, you fucking tree hugging reptilian, you is getting full of turds. I don't know, look, 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 look. Maybe, maybe it's not your job to look, clean look. that shit out, but when I become governor of California, I'm going to have lots of earthquakes and fires and and mayhem and budget cuts. <laughs> we will fuck you good, California. I tell you this. Arnold Schwarzenegger, you betrayed us. You turned into <laughs> you turned into a monster right before our eyes. <laughs> Come turn into a monster. <laughs> you got to turn into a monster right before our eyes. Oh, you got it. You turned into a monster right before our eyes. Right before I left, there you go, you turn into a predator, you bitch ass <laughs> Austrian motherfucker, you. You like discipline. <laughs> you don't like, uh, 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 you do not lack a card to the Bohemian Grove, though, do you? You crazy psycho motherfucker, Arnold. You probably been in the Hillbilly Club and played a little deliverance down the river, huh? The Russian River. <laughs> <laughs> With lots of vodka. <laughs> you predatory motherfucker. <laughs> yes, you're above the law right now. And you try to starve the uh, fucking Caltrans and the firefighters. Oh, they are the firemen out there. Fire. They're pissed off. They're pissed off. If there's a fire, if there is a fire near your home, I bet they let it burn down. <laughs> it is a very expensive home. But you are a piece of shit, Mr. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so Medicare. you know what? Uh, you fucked up California good. You fucked it up so bad. We're like wishing Great Davis was back in office. You motherfucker. <laughs> Ain't that right, Steve? Steve just glad the subjects off. Yeah.